Do your customers routinely reorder items from you? With our Quilt Valet shopping cart, they can choose items they want to reorder and the orders show up in your Quilt Valet inbox. This can easily save your sales team hours. Imagine what you could do with an extra two hours a day. This video will show you how easy it is to create and use Quilt Valet shopping carts. You can create generic shopping carts that you can use with multiple customers, customer specific shopping carts for reorders, and even integrate shopping carts into your website or make it part of an email campaign. So let's go ahead and start by creating a shopping cart that can be used by multiple customers. And to do that, we're going to create a template inside of QuoteWorks. So let's go ahead and create a shopping cart maybe for uh, some toner uh, that we normally sell for this uh, printer. So what we can do is go ahead and select our toner. And then we're going to go ahead and select the toner from Tech Data because it's the lowest price in this example. We'll go ahead and select the yellow. And again, it looks like Tech Data has the lowest price, so we'll go ahead and select that one, followed by magenta. And it looks like Tech Data is going to have the lowest price again, and black. and append. So at this point we now basically have a quote together so let's go ahead and save it as a template and we're gonna go ahead and give this shopping cart a name so uh, we'll just call this uh, toner shopping cart uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, add um, the checkbox here for save template as quote valley order form. Click on OK now it's going to go ahead and upload it to Quote Valley. It's that quick, uh, and it creates a URL for us. This is the URL that we're going to send to the client. We are never going to send them the, the URL once it's inside of a browser. You'll notice that the URL changes. Okay, so this is our shopping cart. Um, it doesn't have any options on it except for the ability to change the quantity. So if they wanted to, they could change this to two if they wanted to. They could go ahead and update totals, and you'll notice that our totals uh, update. But um, realistically, they're probably going to need to be able to order one-off toners. So what we can do is we can select these items here, right-click, and Edit Line Attributes is optional, yes. We're not going to select any of them, and click on OK. So now we're going to save it one more time, and upload. And again, this is the URL that we're going to send to the client, not this URL up here. All right, so now you'll notice that there are checkboxes on this order form, and we've got a zero dollar amount. If we wanted to order, say, the black and this toner here, we can go ahead and update the totals. Give it a second, and you'll notice that now our totals reflect that change. So as you can see, this is a generic shopping cart, so the, the customer will need to enter in their, their details. Helps if I uh, have the caps lock correctly here. And uh, you can restrict and add as much information as you want. Click on Place Order. And now we have an order on Quovele. And it strips out all the items that we, we actually are not ordering. And if you've got this hooked up to a credit card processor, they'll be able to make payment right here. Okay. So we've gone ahead and created a quote with options and uh, you know the reason that it's important to create those options is because often you know when you're doing reorder items like this um, they're low dollar items that you're probably not going to make that much money on so it's important to automate this process with the quote valet shopping cart so let's go ahead and take this to the next level here uh, by actually adding it so you have different sections on the shopping cart so let's go ahead and insert a heading here I'll just call this one toner, for instance. So now we've got a toner section. Um, and then um, let's go ahead and add a couple more items to our quote, or our, our shopping cart, I should say. Uh, like maybe uh, we want like a yellow uh, patch cable. Go ahead and get pricing here. And we'll go ahead and select it from uh, Cinex. 
and maybe actually want something back from that that printer as well so maybe some paper that's recommended or something like that uh, that way we've just got some items that are um, reusable here so again low dollar items that you're not going to make that much money off of and we'll go ahead and insert a heading here and we're going to go ahead and set this to miscellaneous for instance and again we're going to want to make sure that these are options on uh, this template here because otherwise they're going to be automatically included and they'd have to select like a zero quantity so let's go ahead and click on save again uploading it to quote valet and let's see what we've got so now we've got sections on our quote. Um, so if they wanted to, you know, you could jump down to the toner section. Um, you can even, you know, do a search for uh, paper, and you'll see that it jumps down to paper. It finds that it finds that return. Now let's go ahead and switch over to a more specific or a longer. Um, uh, quote or shopping cart I should say so as you can see you know you can really break this down with having multiple sections and these sections are divided based on the headers on your document so if we wanted to jump down to the miscellaneous in this one you'll see that we have our miscellaneous items here and we'll go ahead and update our totals so now we're just ordering multi-purpose paper in this case and again we can just fill all this out like we normally would and uh, and then we can place that order now this is an example of like a generic order form uh, but if we go back over to QuoteWorks, um, we can go ahead and make our toner shopping cart that we were working on before specific to a client. Um, so uh, what we can do there is, uh, is actually just go ahead and add their contact information. So this could be pulling in from your CRM or PSA, and we'll go ahead and do this for uh, Joe's Brewing here. We'll go ahead and click on Save. Click on OK. And now this template is going to be specific for Joe's Brewing Company. So they don't have to fill out this information every single time. So let's go ahead and accept this on behalf of Joe's Brewing Company here. So you would never want to send that shopping cart to anybody else. And I didn't actually select anything here, but you get the, the, the gist there. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got inside of our dashboard. Um, you know, now that we've actually accepted a few quotes, um, you know, we're going to receive notifications like we normally would with a Quote Valley quote, and we'll see all of our, our activity in the Quote Valley dashboard. So uh, if, we, if we look here at our inbox, we've got all of the information here. So that was the one that I just accepted without any details on it. Um, and here's all the one where all, all the activity you can see with all the different options that I selected there. Okay. Um, now, another great way to use the Quote Valley Shopping Cart is to create an order form for a limited time special offer. If your vendors or distributors offer you promos or specials, now you have an easy way to broadcast them out to your customers. This provides you with a reason to contact your customers and remind them that you're looking out for them. Uh, to truly take advantage of this feature, you can use it as a way to upsell items as well. For example, if your distributor is offering a promo on a printer, you can include the toner or other accessories for that printer as well. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and create that promo. So what we can do is uh, go to our products here, and maybe the promo is on that printer. So we can go ahead and select that printer, go ahead and get the pricing here. So we've got that from Tech Data. We'll go ahead and add that to our quote. And we'll go ahead and add some accessories here because we want to upsell on this item. So you know maybe we want to include the ability to staple. So we'll go ahead and add that as an option. And uh, you know we'll go ahead and add uh, maybe some paper as well. And this is just a way to make more money off of that, that promo. So what we'll do here is uh, we'll go ahead and insert a heading here. So we'll do options. Go ahead and make both of these items here optional items. We're not going to have them selected. Now, this printer, we're not going to make it optional because that, that's what this promo is all about. Um, but, uh, you know, we might want to show the customer that, uh, you know, we actually are 
giving them a deal. So we'll go ahead and add a discount line here and we'll do like a 10%. So we've got our 10% discount. So now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it as a template. Do it as an order form. You'll notice I didn't bring in the customer information because this is a special. I'm going to be broadcasting this out to lots of different customers. So we're going to click on OK. So what it's done is it's copied this URL to my clipboard, but I can click on it to see what this special is going to look like that it's going to go out. So that looks great. Uh, we've got our discount there. So now we just need to send the broadcast email either via QuoteWorks, um, you know, uh, Constant Contact, the ConnectWise marketing module, Outlook, or even a, even Goldmine or an Act filter. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use QuoteWorks here. We're going to click on Print, and uh, we'll go ahead and do None. Click on Email. Of course, it's going to make me select something. So we'll go ahead and click on Email here. delete the attachment, select a template. So I've created a template here for our December special. We'll go ahead and paste in our hyperlink. And uh, we'll do hyperlink there, control V. That's the our shopping cart uh, that we're broadcasting out. We're going to do a mass email. Go ahead and select our contacts. And this can be coming in, you know, again, from, uh, you know, your, your CRM or PSA, um, or, again, automating that process. So we just click on send email, and that would broadcast that out. Uh, customers wouldn't see each other's emails through QuoteWorks here. So as you have seen, the Quote Valet shopping carts are great for promotions and customer reorders. Get used to coming into work each morning to an inbox full of paid orders from your Quote Valet shopping carts. Best of all, the Quote Valet shopping cart is included with your Quote Valet subscription at no extra charge. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Quote Valet and QuoteWorks.